Hello everyone and welcome back to Physics 40C. Um, this week we're going to be catching up a little bit and talking about solenoids and electromagnetic forces. And so solenoids are basically electrical components that generate a B field by having a current flow through a wire. So if you have a wire um, that is coiled like this and having a current run through it I, um, the curling actually creates a B field and the direction of the B field is going to be determined by the right hand rule. So the formula we use to describe these are B of solenoid is going to be equal to mu naught times N times I. So I is the current that's running through the solenoid. N is equal to the number of terms, terms per unit length. And what unit length is, is just the um, length of the wire if the wire was uncoiled. So if I stretched all this wire out, I would divide it by the length and the number of turns, and that gives me this N value. So the B field that is generated inside the, um, the coils of wire is determined by the right hand rule or the direction of it is. So if you have a coil of wire, This is actually going to be our representation of the coil of wire. Um, you'd think of it as if there were a, basically a piece of metal or wire or an, maybe even a knife kind of slicing through the uh, coils at this point. So we just have a bunch of sliced pieces of coil. We could have the current going um, in on this side and then coming out through this side. If we used a right hand rule and put our fingers curling in the direction of the current, we should get the B field pointing this way. So your fingers are going into the paper at the top and out of the paper towards the bottom, then your thumb should be pointing in this direction. And so the opposite is then true for the opposite direction of current. Basically, the reason that we introduced this or why this is important is because you can kind of easily imagine if there's current flowing through this coil of wire, um, it's really easy to imagine this as some kind of circuit component. So there could be a voltage source down here as in a battery, maybe a few resistors. So there is um, a direct tie to when we start talking about circuitry once more. So this is actually the device that is our crossover point from electricity to magnetism. So we, we power it or we engage this principle using electricity, but what is generated is then a magnetic field. The one other thing that I wanted to talk about today was going to be uh, force on moving charges. So we have our general equation for that is F equaling Q V cross B. And so essentially what the cross product means here is we're using our right hand rule again. Um, this one is going to be not the curling one like we used up here. It's going to be the straight fingered one. So this, this term, your first term, is always going to be your pointer finger or your index finger. And this term, your second term, is always going to be your middle finger. And so your resultant or your product of those two things is going to be your thumb, which is F in this case. So these terms here are general. Um, you can use them for any three terms that are your, your two terms that you're doing the cross product of and your resultant. The orientation is the same. Um, 
And so I prefer to think of it in this in this way because if you have your um, result or the resultant vector and your first term, then you know where to point your two fingers and now you're just finding the direction of the third of the second term. Um, and all of those are true. So if you have at least two of them, you can find the direction of the other. So this is for force that a B field. And so this is a B field with both magnitude and direction. So that's why we have the cross product there. Exerts on a moving charge. So the charge is uh, demonstrated by that magnitude Q. So on a moving charge Q with a velocity V. So if V equals zero, if the charge is just kind of standing still inside the magnetic field, that means there is no force, uh, at least none induced by the B field itself. So these are the two concepts that we're going to be going over in lecture um, and on the homeworks. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments down below, or you're more than welcome to come to office hours, which are listed in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.